Hey guys, what's up? So a lot of you wanted me to do a live reaction to this chapter of One Piece and I can do it because I've been busy all day. I haven't read anything. Uh, so here we go. Let's start the chapter. Climbing the Elephant. This chapter is early, by the way. Frankie and a shark. Well, Frankie riding like a some type of like beetle type machine racing a shark. That's the cover page. This internet is sucking ass, by the way. It's taking forever to load. Uh, okay, that's some fan art. Keep going, keep going, come on. I hope it's worthy of a live reaction. I'll, I'll just say that. Wow, koala looking. Uh, I'm, I'm okay, koala. You look, you look cute. But I want to get into the chapter. I'll be right back with you. Seriously though, go back to manga stream. Look at that koala fan art. My man Sabo is a lucky son of a bitch. They finally arrived. The mythical island of Zo. It says mystical. I just said mythical because it makes more sense. The thousand sunny senpai. <laughs> praise be on to the praise be on to the Bartolomeo. Oi, Sanji, where's the food, bro? So the sunny is empty. No shit. We saw. We already saw them running around on the island, so they wouldn't be at the ship. What the hell does Frankie's T-shirt say? And Usopp's being a doofus. Uh, senpais, is there any other more? Oh shit, so wait, 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 hold on. So Bartolomeo is leaving. I love to continue to accompany you uh, and fulfill my dream of seeing the Straw Hat All-Stars, but I just can't continue to intrude on the adventure of my gods. Get the... No. So this is kind of like a very convenient way of getting Bartolomeo out of the picture by Oda. So instead of actually staying with the real-life Mugiwara crew, he just decides to leave and ask for the four remaining signatures. That's like if I have a crush on a supermodel and I tell her, I just can't be around you. Could you just give me your signature so I can just leave you the fuck alone? <laughs> Robin's expression is fucking priceless and that's so cute and she's blushing and shit. So Luffy's like, later, Lomeo bro. I like how Law and Zoro have like similar poses as the dragon makes its way up the elephant, they're both like, I don't want to be here. Okay, next page, please. Next freaking page. Grand Line Baltical Revolutionary Army HQ Dragon. That's all you got to give the fan base. Dragon and, and the fucking fan base explodes it's 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 done man this is definitely i haven't even read it and i know this is a live reaction worthy chapter you know what i mean post time skip dragon oh gosh um has he changed i think his hair is different right i don't, I don't know i who am i fucking kidding it's fucking dragon that's all i care about it's dragon people don't get it like dragon was the dude who got my man sabo to man up all right when when, when dragon tells you I need you to man up. You just ask, how many balls do you want me to grow, Sir Dragon? Oh, and he's also Luffy's dad. Victory is in sight. The world government will not sit idly by and watch this all unfold. Cypher Pole's also gotten much stronger. So wait, that, that means that Lu Rob Lucci is packing some serious heat. More so than what he had before. So Koala just said, hey, by the way, Sabo-kun and Luffy-kun were there in Dress Rosa too. And old Dragon asks, instead of asking for his own son, he's like, how was Robin? <laughs> Hold on, is, is that Sabo in the in that middle panel doing like a Sanji kick, training his meta meta no me power? I, I think it has to be, who else could it be? I think it's Sabo. Anyway, so Koala's like, uh, well, Koala, do me a favor. Yes, we're going to need their strength. Who? Summon... Summon the leaders of all the revolutionary armies scattered across. Oh, and then Koala says, see, this is the thing. These leaders must be some broken, overpowered motherfucking characters. Because like Koala says, wait, do you really want to gather that lot, that much power in one place again? Holy sh... No, nah, man. Flamingo was right. He was totally right. I mean, Dragon, Dragon ain't playing for shit. He's like, this isn't for fucking kicks and giggles, motherfucker. Bring in the hardcore players. Like, let's let's bring the A game, Koala. Koala's like, yes, sir. So I literally just clicked 
onto the next page and I see two of Blackbeard's ships with his Jolly Roger with the three skulls, his name, and black sails. Now each ship has three masts and each mast has three black sails. So the, the number three, the theme of, of three in the concept of the character of Blackbeard is still there, which is why a lot of people speculate that he's going to be the only character to obtain a Zoan type Devil Fruit ability, uh, a Paramecia Devil Fruit ability, which he already has, and a Logia type of ability, which he already has. So they're calling up Burgess, right? Buddha, 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 Buddha. And he, he's already left Dress Rosa. And so the second ship uh, is under the command of Shiryu. And what's this other guy's name? Lafitte? Lafoot? So it would appear as if Shiryu is second in command. Um, and he's polishing up his sword. So he's kind of like the Zoro of, of the Blackbeard pirates, I guess. Zoro versus Shiryu is probably going to be a match in the future. Uh, so I was completely passed out. Couldn't make contact. That's Burgess. Yeah, because my man Saba whooped your ass. So Lafitte is the fifth ship captain. Um of the Yonko Blackbeard pirate crew. And then Burgess says, now, it's all white, kind of like a pure white island. I stowed away on a certain ship. The f like, what, what, where the fuck is he? Like, tell Captain Teach, tell him to bring everyone and attack my current location. We can get our hands on a huge, okay, wh uh, where the fuck is Burgess, seriously? It's Admiral Teach now? Admiral Teach? The fuck? Blackbeard's an admiral. What the? Are you? Wait. This chapter is fucking nuts. Don't forget to drag Do Doc's Q's ass with you. I'm hanging. Yeah, cause my man Sabo beat your ass. God damn it, Burgess. Where are you? Don't know. I don't think anyone knows. Just follow my Vivre card. Oh my gosh. Sabo, you, you, you led them right to him. You led him right to the base. You should have killed him when you had the chance, Sabo. This is it. This is, this is the event that's going to change the story of One Piece forever. This is the catalyst. This is the thing that's going to end up sending a rippling effect, a ripple effect, and cause the next fucking world war. Because Burgess is there, Blackbeard pirates are gonna invade Revolutionary HQ, and Dragon just told Koala, bring in the revolutionary leaders. This is, this is it. This is the thing that's gonna change things forever. Plus, like, if it's Admiral Teach, does that mean that he can get the Marines involved in this too? Oda. See, the thing about this is that I don't even know if I give a fuck about the elephant anymore. Do, do you give a fuck about the elephant? I think I do. I think I do. A little bit. Yeah, so this is the buggy island. This is like a yeah, a circus tent. And and they're celebrating because now that Doflamingo stopped the shipments, it opens up the world to wreak some havoc. So people are going to go pillaging. Doflamingo was right. What happens to a group of monsters when you let go of the leash... And they have no food. Wow! So this is Buggy's first appearance after the time skip. And he looks really fucking scary. He looks like a crazy clown that will fuck you up. Even though I know he's kind of like a coward and shit. No matter what pirate evil you bastards get mixed up in. As long as you work for me. Star Clown Buggy. Everything's legal. <laughs> so drink up, boys. So you got the crew there with Mr. Three. And it turns out that the four giants, well, actually, no, the five giants just resigned straight up. And my question is, how in the hell did Buggy manage to get control over those giants in the first place? Granted, I know that giants aren't like the smartest of races, but still, it's Buggy. And then Buggy's like, wait, 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 what? What happened? <laughs> and then he's told that you really want to know. So I'm wondering if they're going to tell him it's because they're following Luffy or because a guy called God Usopp. Converted them. Climbing up the elephant. It says here that it's it's tall enough to reach the clouds. And I mean, 
I mean, the legs should be long enough to reach the ocean floor, so that thing is huge, fucking mungus. And then Robin's still like, so cute. <laughs> By the way, Kanjiro and Kinemon, what's your business here? Wait, what the fuck? They're looking for a ninja? And, and Luffy's eyes just start gleaming, man. Are they looking for Naruto? That's my question. And then something's coming at them. I don't know what that is. This better not be the final page of the chapter. What's coming towards... It's the final page of the chapter, fuck. Amazing freaking chapter of One Piece. Uh, next week we're on break, but I think Oda deserves it. And uh, I, I need time to process this chapter because it, it really was, seriously, like a, a genuinely what the fuck is going on type of a chapter. So, amazing, but I, I need to process it. So, leave me your comments down below. Like the video if you did. I appreciate that. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Thanks, guys. Bye.